Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is another soap in video and the recipe is very basic. 30% olive palm coconut oil, 5% of castor and sweet almond oil, some mica, statin dioxide and fragrance oil. And I've used this recipe around three times or four times. I love it. This is the final look of the loaf. It smells awesome. I was a hundred percent happy of the end result. So let's start. Now I'm adding the lye water to the melted oils and I'm gonna say it again, I've learned from my previous mistakes so for the past few times I'm soaping in a very low temperature and both the lye water and the oils are around 80 degrees Fahrenheit as you see and another mistake that I'm avoiding is not to over blend or over use the stick blender so it's just till it reaches the um, uh, very very thin trays or it uh, emulsifies and now I'm dividing uh, the batter into two parts as you see I was so happy at the end because I didn't forget anything and luckily nothing went wrong nothing at all one of the keywords is the preparation you have to mix the colors ahead of time same thing goes for the titanium dioxide uh, to measure the oils in advance and of course to prepare the molds and all the equipment so in here I'm just uh, dividing uh, the batters in one part I'll be adding a brown mica together with a cappuccino mica using a hand whisk mixing everything all together and adding the uh, fragrance oil I'm using here uh, one of my favorite fragrance oils it is called espresso and I bought it from Brambleberry it behaves really well no acceleration no weird behavior whatsoever and I'm leaving a little bit for later on. Now I'm adding some uh, coffee uh, grounds and this is, I think I um, used uh, coffee from Nespresso because I had it in hands. And pouring everything into the mold. I'm using this silicone mold. This is the second time I'm using it. It is awesome and it's very easy to add mold afterwards. And of course I'm using a king or it's called a King's Gold Mica from Brambleberry as well uh, to get the mica vein just dusting the right amount because if it's too thin it's gonna be invisible and if it's too thick the both parts the bottom and the top will uh, spread or won't stick together and moving forward I'm adding a yellow or the gold mica, the king's gold mica into one cup mixing it well adding now the titanium dioxide I've mixed the titanium dioxide a couple of hours before and I kept on whisking every let's say half an hour so to avoid the drag marks that usually the TD leaves and as you see I'm just uh, using a hand whisk And I'll be saving a little bit, just a little bit to use on top at the end. I'll be adding the rest or whatever leftovers of the coffee. For the texture, even the color. And now the remaining fragrance oil into the three parts. And the coffee ground is for exfoliation as well. And I will be pouring, or um, uh, yes, pouring both the yellow and the brown into the white for the in-pot um, swirl. I was in power, uh, sorry, I was, um, uh, I've seen uh, this technique into, or inspired by, I think, uh, Soap in Florida, I guess is the name of uh, the YouTube channel. She's a great soaper. She's an amazing artist. Now I'm adding all the mixture on top of the brown one. 
and the brown part is already set and hardened it, it was able or it's able to support uh, the second layer And for the saved part, I'm just adding it very carefully on top so it won't get uh, deeper or into the second layer, just very slowly. And with the help of the spatula, I'm gonna be spreading all that white. I didn't, uh, um, I didn't add any fragrance oil because I wanted to stay white. So as you see, with a small spatula, I'm just spreading it on top. I am so happy. It is an amazing addiction and I love, love, love soapy. And you guys cannot imagine the happiness that it brings me. And I like soapy all the time and you cannot believe how many soaps I have. It's like I'm having soaps that will be enough probably into uh, till... Uh, 2027 for the next 10 years now I'm just putting uh, little dots or whatever left from the uh, brown part the yellow part and even the uh, uh, old mica as you see and I've learned uh, one other tip it's like less is more we don't have to put the entire thing just a little bit uh, makes it a really pretty uh, soap As you see here, the gold mica and the cappuccino mica, the one that I've pre-mixed with oils, just little dots or little drops. That's enough. Now the uh, king's gold mica. I've done the same, the exact same technique uh, maybe a couple of uh, one time but um, two videos before that and now I'm just drawing the eight figure as you see it's very easy yet very pretty I'm not a professional super, but um, I'm hoping that with time I will learn more and I will improve and I will learn more skills. So as I said, everything went as planned. And now I will be spraying, I'm spraying 90, uh, 91 or 99% alcohol. And here is a close-up look. I'm back after 24 hours. I've covered the soap with um, a blanket and this is how it looks like. It's really nice, so let's start with the cutting. I bought this cutter, this is a cheese cutter and I really hope that it's gonna do the trick because uh, I found out the hard way that I'm not really good in uh, cutting with the knife so let's try it on its side so we won't have drag marks from the uh, titanium dioxide Here we go. It's nice. It's nice. It's not bad at all. Some freezer paper in here. So let's see. Yeah. Oh yeah. Sorry, sorry for the noise. Very sorry. No, this is much easier. Much easier. Mm. 
the mica vein is not that thick but it is you can you can see it I need to get a new mold so let's cut off the pieces I was really happy with the cheese cutter, it did the trick and I know it's not really professional and the pieces are not equal but it is much much better than using a knife and um, probably in the future I will invest into a professional soap cutter, uh, probably a big one from Brambleberry but not for the time being because I'm just doing or soaping uh, as a hobby, it's not a job. Um, yeah, as you see, they're not bad whatsoever, much better than the uh, lavender soap that I made a couple of weeks ago. I hope you liked the video. Please don't give, don't forget, sorry, to give a thumb up to share it in Facebook and to subscribe to my channel as I make a lot of soap in English videos. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.